Hey everyone, welcome back to the shop. I've got a tool review here for you today. It's not a super big tool or a brand new tool, but maybe one that you haven't used before. And it's a countersink bit, but not just any countersink bit. It's for a conformat screw. And a conformat screw looks like this. Here's what a conformat screw looks like and it's about 650 millimeters long which is about two inches it has a 10 millimeter head a seven millimeter shoulder and the thread portion here is seven millimeters with the shank being just under five millimeters and it has a posi drive head on it which is like a Phillips but it's the European version. It has some extra little fins uh, on the, the driver bit that go down in there and help prevent the uh, cam out. So that's what a conformat screw looks like. So the countersink I wanna show you today is made by Make It Snappy Tools and made in America, even better for us. <clears throat> And here's a traditional drill bit for drilling the pilot holes for a counter for a conformat. The conformat's pretty big, so you have to pre-drill. And this drill bit is stepped. It has a five millimeter portion, a seven millimeter, and then at the top it's ten millimeters. But you can see this screw is only about two inches long. So we don't need this much bit, and it's hard to push this much bit manually. Uh, into the wood and I grew very tired of it so I was looking for a, a different kind of countersink uh, for hand drilling and I found this guy here make it snappy let's open it up and here it is it's a five millimeter brad point bit a real high quality bit then there's a seven millimeter portion of the countersink here and then a ten millimeter countersink here and then you notice a set screw here you can undo that set screw pull this out put a new one in I bought an extra five millimeter bit when I bought this uh, last time and found I didn't need it this didn't wear out it was the countersink portion down here that got dull first and I tried sharpening it by hand with a stone and some files and that was pretty mediocre so I found it best just to buy a new bit but this bit also is a little bit long for this kind of countersink so what I did is pull the set screw out pull the bit out cut a little bit off the end put it back in tighten it down and then it's just about perfect. The conformat screw was developed in Europe to use with particle board, melamine, and MDF. As you saw before, it had really deep threads, and there's a lot of space between the threads, so that it would really grab and have a lot of meat in between the threads to hold in that type of material. So if you're building cabinetry, especially frameless cabinetry, Melamine is really useful and the conformat screw will give a really quality joint. It can even be taken apart, the cabinet can be flat packed and it can be moved somewhere and reassembled and still hold really strong. We all know nails don't hold well and regular wood screws are just okay, but the conformat offers a really high quality joint in this type of material. So I want to show you how I would put together a cabinet. You can use a melamine glue if you want to, if you're using melamine. Um, I don't find it necessary, but I have here the side of the cabinet, and then I also have the deck. And start with, I pin it to hold it in position.
So it just keeps it aligned while I'm drilling. Now this screw is a uh, 7 by 50 millimeter, about 2 inches long, and it's for 3 quarter material. If you're using 5 eighths material, then you want to use a 5 by 40 screw, so you get a 5 by 40 countersink as well. This countersink that I'm showing you is the 7 by 50 millimeter, and it requires a number 3 posi drive tip to drive it. inch base you want to use about five screws down there and that makes a really strong joint thanks for checking it out hope you learned something we'll see you next time